Okay, let's go into the sky. I'm going to use some primary blue. Just a little bit on the brush. I don't want a whole lot, but let's just tap into it. Let's go up in the sky here. Well, what area it's going to be our sky. Let's start. A little bit of blue. I want it to be faint and far off, so let's get a little bit of white with that. And just a little bit of black. Not much. Just kind of change that blue just a little bit to a grayish color. Tap into it. Start right in here. And I'm going to tap this a few times. It makes it very soft. Very soft. Work this over through here. Load this. Just swirling around till it's like ink, and then I'm gonna turn it, just twist it, and it loads a nice point on the end of it, just like that. Now let's go up to the painting work area, and let's lay in a little tree trunk right here. Is one? Maybe there's a little sprout sticking out back here that we'll see as we put our highlights on. Just like that. I'll put in different kinds of. If you'll do very light touch, it'll give you just tiny, tiny variations of tree trunks. Let's go right up here. Put some colors in. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. Don't want it real distinct though. We want it to be kind of far away, so these colors look real nice. Okay, a little more red. Fill in a little spot right here. Got that going real good. Just like that. Okay, now then, let's move down. Okay, now that just use the big brush and then we're gonna move down. I'm gonna go into some of the black, some of that blue. A little bit stronger this time because it's getting pretty close to it. I'm gonna start right here and work my way up. See that? It lets it fade out as it goes up. It's kind of a little easy way to thin paint down to you. More blue. clean brush if you've already washed it, it doesn't matter won't hurt a thing now then let's go right here just tap right across through there like that Tap it up to where it makes like a little ridge at the paint you know, from the brush to the palette. brighter yellow in there. Maybe there's some light zinging through here. Some of the Van Dyke brown. Some of the Liz, uh, Van Dyke brown, some of the black, I'm sorry. Let's mix it up pretty good. Cut a roll across, just like that. 
You see? Okay. I'm just scribbling back and forth there. Maybe it's kind of like an old road or a path or I don't really guess I know exactly what I'm seeing, but sometimes you just have to go with it. Maybe the grass kind of grew up over there. Some linseed oil or thin oil. You can use different mixtures, variations of that, make it work for you. Maybe we'll have to discuss that one day, different types of mediums you can use to thin your paints with. You can use paint thinner if you like. Oil just seems to work a little bit slicker. Okay. I'm going to go right over here. That up. Let's go right up here. When you pull this, just pull it in a U like that. See that? Yes. The green. We won't even put a dark color under it. A little bit of that green will be our dark. How's that? We'll go on with the green. See that? Just touch. Okay. Let me give you a close up shot of that. Okay, something right there. Just kind of make them look like you can see through them good. Just makes the tree appear better when you do that. Touch up the top there. Kind of hide that a little bit. Until you get a frame for it, <laughs> that helps. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to use some of the yellow ochre, some of the green, some of the white. Let's just hit these highlights just a little. You don't have to do this, but it is some of the red. Some of the Lizard and crimson, I'm sorry. Should be more specific. Now, if you notice how I'm loading the brushes like this, I'm just pulling straight back. I got a lot of paint into it. See that? Now I'm going to turn it up like that and go over here, push up like that right there. See that? Just like that.